What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying the crystal flash jig. So I'm starting with a 1 16th ounce white jig head. And I'm using a white uni thread. So I'm just going to take that thread about to the point of the hook. For the tail I'm going to be using these crystal flash fibers instead of feathers. So I'm just going to take about a dozen of those, I'm going to fold them in half. And fold them in half again. This is going to create a nice thick reflective tail that the fish will go crazy for. So we're just going to tie them in folded over just like that. Make sure they're nice and straight on top of the hook and give it a couple good securing wraps. Make sure it sits right. And when it looks good, you can secure it down the rest of the way. Tie those fibers up to the head. This will keep the body nice and even and not have a weird taper. So you could stop just short of the head with those so they're easier to clip, but if you take them all the way up, you'll just have to clip them off in sections like this. Just take your time here, make sure you get all of them. There we go. There's a little more there. And now we're going to clean this up with the thread. Most of this will be covered up with the chenille, but we'll just clean this up a bit. And now we're going to wind that back down, make it nice and tight. And now we're going to cut these crystal flash fibers. So we're going to take our scissors, put them through the loops where it's folded and just cut it. And you can search for anything you've missed by taking the point of the scissors and just running it through the fibers like this. Looks like we got them all. Now I'm going to cut them to length. So we're going to take them, straighten them out just like this. And if there's any that are longer than the rest, just cut those. And I'm going to make the length of these just a little bit longer than the length of the hook. Looks great. Double check, make sure they're the same length. And once they are, I'm just going to get rid of this taper. For the body, I'm going to be using a crystal flash tinsel chenille. It's about the same colors as the tail. Just going to tie that in right there at the tail and you want the tag end to go up to the head. Secure it down well and you can start turning that chenille. You want each turn to be straight and pressed up against the last so that there's no gaps in there. With this one, it's not too important. If there's a little bit of gap, you won't even be able to tell probably, just because the thread underneath is white. But we'll do what we can. Tie that chenille up to the head. And once it's there, tie it in tight. Once it's secured, you can cut the chenille. And we can whip finish. I like to get the whip finish turns in front of the chenille so it presses any of the fibers back. So just take your time doing that. And cut the thread. 
And there we have it. It's a super reflective pattern. It does work in murky water and clear water, but especially well in clear water on sunny days. It drives the fish crazy. Tie some of these up for yourself and see how they do. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.